guys. So uh, we're in Anchorage International Airport. This is kind of our hub here when we come. And uh, this is the nursery, and we hang out here for hours with Titus. Between flights, he gets to go down the slide and play with the toys. I just ordered us breakfast at 7 a.m. here, and uh, $35 for breakfast, so uh, not a lot of glory on that. <laughs> so uh, our next flight is to uh, Nome on Western Alaska, and then on to Kotzebue, which is up above the Arctic Circle. So we'll catch up with you soon. We appreciate you still in your And here's one of the crazy things about traveling in the native villages in Alaska. So we just went and checked in at Bering Air for our flight to the village on those little planes. And I went to check in, and, and I'm like, so what time is our plane leave? They're like, we don't know. <laughs> and so they said there's one already leaving right now. We missed it. We'll get the next one. I said, when's that leaving? They said, I don't know. We'll just call your name. And so we're just kind of hanging out in, uh, in the glory. <laughs> glory. So every time we come to Katsubu mm -hmm. Airport, we always go <coughs> to fry bread, fry bread with spice honey spread donuts. and spice donuts, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> homemade. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that amuses us when we're waiting for planes. <laughs> so we are now in the plane, ready to take off for Selowick. Our little plane. What kind of plane is this? I think it's Cessna Grand Caravan. Bearing air. You ready, Titus? Yay! <laughs> Revving up the engine. Hey guys, this is Rob, and I'm coming to you from the Arctic native village of Selawik, Alaska, right now. And uh, as you can see, this is the uh, this is along the river here in the village, and this, this entire village is actually run by boardwalks. Uh, and the only thing they have is four wheelers. There are no vehicles, and uh, the four wheelers like that right there run along the boardwalks here. And we are just above the Arctic Circle. Uh, it's about the first week of June here. The wind is really strong. They are just experiencing the break up now, uh, which is the Alaskan term for spring. You know, when the ice and the snow breaks up. So as you can see, um, the, the river just beginning to run. They'll get about two months of that before things begin to get cold again. So a lot of glory. Bless you guys. Something's changing. So this is Rob. I'm here in the Rotman's Grocery Store in Selawik. It's a village up above the Arctic Circle here in Alaska. And I was asking about the fruits and vegetables. 
So here's what we have. We have some lettuces. Obviously nothing can be fresh because they have to, you know, ship it in from very far. They've got melons. If you'd like a melon, um, let me get you the price here. $11.50 for a melon. These are some of the prices that we're seeing. And then one of the most important things, you cannot drink the water as it comes from the local river. So here's a water for you. $11.35 for a gallon of purified water. They have big cheese, it's one of my favorite. Eight dollars and seventy-nine cents for a box of big cheeses. It says that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. I speak to the styroid, and I command you in the name of Jesus to operate one hundred percent perfectly right now. Like a brand new thyroid. Every fiber lining up right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Wow, look at how many, look how many there are. They're about to overtake the whole population here. See, they're going to be the ones, they're going to be running everything, these guys. Hey guys, this is Rob here, and uh, we just got done with our first meeting in the native village of Selawick. It is midnight right now. Uh, the sun is right at the horizon and it'll start rising again in like a half hour here. We're above the Arctic Circle. It's just about the first week of June. And uh, as you can see, there's some of the kids playing there behind me. It was an incredible night. We had people just totally set free. Tons from alcoholism and drug addiction and uh, broken marriages and just people coming up, thyroids being healed and blood pressure and all kinds of stuff. It was just really awesome. We are going to take a walk outside. We haven't been out in a while. Just it's too windy to bring the baby out. It's like almost 50. Yeah, it's nice. It's just some wind, but it's a lot nicer than it's been the past couple of days. The Arctic wind is something you do not mess with, ever. That's true. If we repent because we've had an encounter, we believe that Jesus is who he said he is. We turn our back on our old lifestyle because he has endued us with power from on high. And we don't have to live the same way that we used to live anymore. These are the times. These are the. I forgot what I was going to say. So, what we have here is um, a traditional food or even Eskimo food is dried fish. So what they do is they catch the fish and they hang it up to dry, like your clothes kind of. Air dry. And uh, you air dry. And so then you've got the, the dried meat right. here with some oils in it. Now, I'm not a seafood bluff at all, but I have to try it because I'm here. And, uh, and then the other delicacy that, that they have is actually seal oil and blubber. And so we've got a little bit here in the jar. I don't know okay. if it's some seal oil. And it's uh, it's oil and blubber mixed together, is yes. that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is seal oil and blubber mixed together. So this fish has been hanging for up to a week? Up to a week, yeah. yeah. <laughs> up to a week. Um, all right. That's good. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. Okay, don't be that way. That's actually not bad. That's good. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not. <laughs> it's like jerky, but it's, it's jerky. It's like fish jerky. It's jerky. It's yeah. jerky. That's mm-hmm. all it is, jerky. It's fish, fish jerky. turned to jerky, air dried. You just mm-hmm. like the color. Try you. some. <laughs> all right. So this, I'm, I'm having a lot of trouble with this. That's too big. You should cut it real small. <clears throat> you were going to let him eat that. If he wants to. That's too big. You want to cut it? A little Here, smaller? Have a small piece. piece. Yeah, his first time probably mm-hmm. with this. this one Open right your mouth, close your eyes, close your nose. Put that back in there. Look at this one. There's a pink around there right here. Grab your nose, open your mouth, close your the eyes. Smaller one right here. <laughs> you can do it, honey. Smaller one right here. No problem. There's a smaller one. The bathroom's right uh, there if you can. I don't want to puke. I really don't. Just don't barf all over the table. Oh, no, he knock it off. Here, put this one on there. There's a pink one, better one. I think this is a better piece. Yes. I would eat that piece instead of that. I could take that. Give a glass of water. <laughs> I should get my water a drink. Let me get a let me get a drink. This is seal rendered seal blubber with seal oil. Fresh from the Arctic coast, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it won't go down. Uh-oh. <laughs> you better drink that, yeah. Oh, that's so delicious. <laughs>
Can't tell from the sun, but we gotta get up pretty early and catch another flight back to Fairbanks, and we'll catch you on the way. Hey guys, here we are. It is Tuesday morning, and the plane is on its way. And here's Titus. When he saw that his crib was packed up, he was excited. He knows we're going home. So uh, we'll recap everything shortly. It was just an incredible trip. <laughs> Anchorage Airport in the glory. <laughs> Amazing time in Selawick. We're on our way home. We've got one more plane that is 45 minutes long that we have to wait two hours to catch. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for coming on this trip with us, and we'll see you in the next village. <laughs> Three. Three. It's recording. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, so we had a wonderful time here in Selowick. We spent the last three days ministering and uh, getting to see God do some really cool stuff in this village. And a lot of cool stuff happened. What happened? <laughs> wow, that was very informational, very informative, I must say. We're a little tired. It's after midnight here. Although you could never tell by the sun. All right, start that over. What am I supposed to say? Just what you said, and <laughs> let me start it. Yeah, right. You're gonna talk no, for six years. So we are about to go over, and Rob's about to preach the first night meeting. Titus has a poop. <laughs> so I smell it. That's all they wanted to know.